Hey, Popco Studios in Oklahoma City. This is an OU update with Ryan Aber. I'm Jenny Carlson. Ryan, great wide receiver play last year by the Sooners, but a guy that sort of fell by the wayside was Trey Matwire. What happened, first of all, a year ago for him? Yeah, I think w everybody built him up after that great spring performance, and uh, they thought that he was going to be the savior of a wide receiver group that was really decimated by graduation. They had Kenny Stills and a lot of question marks. Well, what happened is Justin Brown fell in their lap from, from Penn State. Jalen Saunders was ruled eligible early in the season and, and had a, a fantastic season. And uh, Matoire really fell by the wayside as guys like Sterling Shepard and uh, some other younger guys uh, stepped up and, and overtook him. Mm -hmm. So uh, not so much expectations this year uh, going in for, for Matoire like it was a year ago. Okay, so if the expectations are down, mm -hmm. what can we expect from him? <laughs> what can we expect from Matoire? Well, if you listen to Jay Norvell the other day at OU Media Day, he was pretty fired up about what he'd seen from Matoire. Now, he, he tampered expectations a little bit, saying you never know until you see him in games and things like that. But he said as far as the, the work that he's put in, uh, the improvements that he's made, and just catching up to the game mentally mm -hmm. from uh, coming in as a freshman, that he thinks that there's going to be big things out of Matoire this year. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoman. Ready. Hot.